And we back. It's your boy K Blau Hood X. Shoutoutfedex.com. Like, share, subscribe. This video is by request. Somebody asked me after I did the video yesterday on your sign of the city. Somebody asked me to do one on your sign as a drug. So that's what this video is. Let's knock it out. Alright, so we got Aries. Aries is cocaine. You know what I'm saying? So uh, for obvious reasons. Or you can also go with um coffee. So I'm saying these are stimulus, these are uppers. Uh, Aries already it's a, a cardinal sign. They're already coming at you, um, you know what I'm saying, in a way that, um, you know, it's already kind of aggressive, uh, already, um, you know what I'm saying. Mind you, too, Aries are masculine sign. You know what I'm saying? So um, a lot of times people sniff coke and get a little bit more masculine and a little more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, too, coke is like a drug that you kind of think about that you, like, people take. That they don't, you know, it's like squeeze first, ask questions last. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you act before you think. You know what I'm saying? Like, you do something without thinking about it first. You know what I'm saying? That's like some cocaine shit, like impulse. You know what I'm saying? And uh, coffee kind of work the same way. You know what I'm saying? So, um, also, two people can be real, uh, like, mean to you if, if they don't have their coffee. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a lot of times, Aries kind of the same way. Like, you know, uh, they can come off, like, kind of. Uh, moody or aggressive, you know what I'm saying, or like just kind of unpleasant, you know what I'm saying, in certain times, unless they didn't have some type of fix, so, you know what I'm saying, so, um, that's Aries, Taurus is cigarettes and food, so you know what I'm saying, so, a lot of times you think about when somebody sit down and eat a big plate of food, you know what I'm people who smoke cigarettes, the first thing that they want to do when they're done eating the food is smoke a big ass cigarette, and this is some straight Taurus shit, and that Taurus is already kind of ruled by food, you know what I'm saying, um, they already kind of born addicted to food, you know what I'm saying? And, like, a lot of times people don't think it's food as a drug, per se, but, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that get addicted to food like it is a drug. You know what I'm saying? Like, they say too much of any one thing is a bad thing. That's how food is with a tourist. You know what I'm saying? And they're, like, it's not just food. It's, like, literally a drug. And also uh, cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Nicotine, tobacco is real addictive. You know what I'm saying? And tourists have an addictive personality. Once they find something they kind of like, they be stuck with it. You see what I'm saying? And um, uh, tourists are feminine sign. Cigarettes is kind of uh, considered a feminine, kind of more feminine type trait. You know what I'm saying? Like, matter of fact, over in, uh, that's where the word fag came from. Like, the original word fag was for cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that Taurus is fags, but they were like, you know what I'm saying? It is, it's like a, um, it's a feminine sign. So you think about, like, somebody smoking, it's like a, like, like, um, like, you know, like, people smoking cigarettes. It's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Typically, typically, so you think of a woman first, more so than a man. You know what I'm saying? Um. Cancer, no, no, Gemini, I'm sorry, Gemini, we went with uh, speed, you know what I'm saying, with acid, you know what I'm saying, uh, before we trip off acid, like LSD, shit like that, like, you know what I'm saying, uh, if you go back to, like, the 70s, shit like that, when they had Woodstock, a lot of, Gem uh, not Gemini, a lot of people who say LSD and stuff like this, they would, you know, take it and, and dance and party and have all these, like, crazy lights coming into their mind and stuff like that, and then they would, uh, a lot of people during that time, same thing, would have or giant orgies and shit like that, like, you know what I'm saying, and, um, it, it was, like, not just a orgy full of lust and stuff like this, but, like, it was, like, an orgy that would connect people to God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a religious orgy. You know what I'm saying? Like, a spiritual orgy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, Gemini's is mutable air, so they kind of rule by that same type of energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And also, too, like, LSD brings you into the higher dimensions and the, the ability to vote, to, to have a vocabulary to speak things that normally you probably wouldn't be able to uh, say, but you pop some LSD or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You find yourself able to express things that, you know what I'm saying, that like, scientists, you know what I'm saying, been working on for years, like, you know, and you're able to say it, you know, very easily, um, also, too, LSD was, like, um, and, uh, speed and acid, shit like this, these were the same, um, chemicals that was used to form sound waves and put them in the computer, like, you know what I'm saying, so, like, um, um, you know, a lot of the people, like, the Beatles, or even, like, um, what's his name, Steve Jobs and stuff like this, they used a lot of LSD, you know what I'm saying, during these times to um, to basically look into the Akashic Records and look into the ether and pull those waves out and, and capture them into a computer. And that's eventually what became on-screen graphics and stuff like this. It started with sound waves that people was realizing from taking LSD. You know what I'm saying? And Gemini's is kind of the way they look out into the unseen and be and able to kind of see it and speak it into existence and stuff like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's right up the alley. Cancer, we're going with crack, straight crack. You know what I'm saying? Crack cocaine. You know what I'm saying? And the reason we're going with crack cocaine for cancers is because, uh, you know what I'm saying, when you think of a crackhead, you know what I'm saying, and the traits of a crackhead, 
you kind of it's like a almost like a cartoon kind of type deal, and it's like it's like real, um, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, um, you know, you think about the emotion and the moods of a cartoon and how it's kind of like a little bit extra larger than life. Like you know what I'm saying? How the emotions bring you into a world that's kind of cartoonish. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like 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 almost like a comic book. Like like they say, in the Dragon Man, you come straight out of a comic book. Like a lot of times, cancers be the same way. Like like kind of like crackhead be like a character in a comic book. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, cancers be on the same type of uh, energy signature. You know, and um, you know, cancers like crackheads they do stuff for cheap. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you ask a crackhead to change the tire for like fucking I don't know like a dollar. Like you know what I'm saying? They'll do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you ask cancers kind of do the same thing. Like you ask them for help a lot of times situation like they won't even charge you for it they'll just do it you know you what I'm saying because in their mind they looking at it like oh it's I'm a good person so this is gonna make me look like a good person you know what I'm saying so like crackheads be doing that same type of shit too like you know what I'm saying they making it seem like it's really about you and it's really about them like you know what I'm saying uh, but crackheads at the same time you love crackheads like you know what I'm saying like if you're not a crazy crackhead but like you know what I'm saying a crackhead who like who like to just get high and have a good time like you know what I'm saying like and they don't really want to bother nobody and shit like that like you know you can't you know, and that's it's like Kansas is the same thing. It's like man, like you know, they they emotions is a lot like crack to them. Like you know, what I'm saying they be kind of addicted to their own emotions, like crack. You know what I'm saying so it's like you kind of give them their little crack and put them in a the little corner and let them smoke that shit and they be happy. Like you know what I'm saying? And it's like, um, you know, so thing you think about too, like the uh, the ups and downs of a life of a crackhead. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the you know, like I say a lot of times, you know, human nature and the and the big pitfalls of life and the wrong making like making a decision to smoke crack is obviously a horrible decision to make. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, cancer be the same way. Like, they just make horrible decisions that, like, you kind of, that tear right into the human element that you kind of want to help them get out of these types of situations. So, like, a lot of times you see a crackhead, you may want to try to get them off crack. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same way, like, a lot of times with cancer, like, you kind of want to um, help them, you know what I'm saying, in a situation. You know what I'm saying? So, um, also, too, you think about, like, a crack house. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about fourth house. Like, a crack house. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, cancer's, run their house like a crack house, like, you see what I'm saying, and they're like, they be trying to capitalize off of everybody's emotion for crack, you see what I'm saying, instead of, like, the actual house itself, like, you see what I'm saying, like, um, it's hard for a cancer to, like, I mean, a cancer, male or female, you see what I'm saying, to, um, to, to grow their foundation, like, you see what I'm saying, like, a lot of times, like, whenever they is where they is, that's what the fuck it's gonna be, like, you see what I'm saying, so, and, like, a lot of times with a crackhead, you don't really see them you know, uh, moving their life up. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times they be moving it down. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, when you think of the crack house, the house itself a lot of times be the that foundation. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, you know, a crack house is always, typically always going to be a crack house. Like, very rarely you see a crack house get fixed all the way up into, like, a real house. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Leo, we went with beer, wine. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, um, wine, like a wine, you know what I'm saying? Like a wine, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody standing in the alley. You know what I'm saying? drinking hard liquor, like vodka, shit, like somebody constantly drinking beer or, like, wine all day. So I'm saying, and it, um, uh, you think of a beer, typically people have a beer, it's like a social, take hey man, have a beer, you know, it's like, oh, I have a beer. You know, women like to often, you know what I'm saying, most of the time men typically drink beer, that's why I say wine for women, the same thing, like, like you know, you come over and, a, and somebody offer you, a woman, if somebody offer you a glass of wine, it's like, oh yeah, cool, you know, start socializing, kind of make you feel good, you know what I'm saying, so Leo, um, kind of had that type of type of energy, not necessarily, like I said, a hard drink, when you offer them, man, you want a shot of Hennessy, it's like, whoa, that's like, it's like, no, nah, I mean, you want a beer, you know. But yeah, you know, but like beer after beer after beer after beer. Glass after wine after wine after glass after glass after glass after glass. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is Leo shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Leo will drink your ass under the motherfucking table. You know, and um, like I say, typically you think about having a good time. Like, a lot of times you don't really think about a hangover a lot of times with beer. Like, you can have a hangover with wine. You know but like, you're not necessarily getting like sloppy, sloppy drunk. You know what I'm saying? But it is an addictive nature with the with the with the beer with the wine and that like you can't really come to the table and kick it with them you know what i'm saying unless it's some like liquor on the table or like unless it's some type of fix on the table or, like unless it's about them like you know what i'm saying it's like you don't have a drinking buddy you don't hang out with your drinking buddy if y'all not drinking type shit like you know what i'm saying and um leo is kind of like a drinking buddy like the person you go out with to have drink after drink after drink after drink like you see what i'm saying so um you can't expect to, like, um, get outside that dimension, like, with a Leo. Like, you see what I'm saying? Um, that's, it's like, you think of Leo like an actual bottle of beer or actual bottle of wine, it makes perfect sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um, 
there's really no other, I would say like that, but like there's literally no other purpose for a glass of beer other than to drink that shit. Like it ain't another, uh, uh, other, I mean, purpose for a glass of wine other than to drink that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, when you think about hanging out with your drinking buddy without getting drunk, it's kind of a boring situation. You know what I'm saying? Leo is kind of the same way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Unless you hanging out with them and like something is cracking, they ain't, the game ain't on. Like you think about when you drink, the game is on. Or there's some type of party going on, some type of celebration or something like this. And there's, there's look at that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, Leo is kind of good for that. And like, ain't nothing else. You want to talk about, you know, uh, start talking about education, boring stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like boring, like business and stuff like this. It don't really work. Pop a bottle, you know what I'm saying? And kick it. That's Leo energy. Virgo, we went meth. You know what I'm saying? Meth addicts. A lot of meth addicts is Virgo. The reason why we went meth is because, you know what I'm saying, the process is when you take meth, I don't know if you've ever seen anybody take meth, but there's like a, um, there's a, there's like a first one for somebody taking take meth, they get a rush, like, you know what I'm saying, and they start like, kind of rocking back and forth and shit like this, and their legs start shaking like this, then all of a sudden, they start talking fast as hell, like, you know, and like, they'll start cutting you off, and then like, like, you'd be like, oh, so how you, I don't know, I feel like this, like, like, they already kind of like, start, um, like, might use mercury shit, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you talk to a Virgo long enough, they definitely gonna cut you, start cutting your ass off, like, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, mercury be extra. So, like, when you think about a meth head, a lot of shit they be doing be extra as hell. Like, totally unnecessary shit that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, like shit that meth heads do. Like, they'll go in your fucking kitchen and start opening up the cabinet and start cleaning the dishes and, and shit like this and rearranging your fucking laundry around and shit. Like, you're like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, ain't nothing. Like, oh, well, I noticed your your silverware is in the wrong compartment, so I'm, I'm you know, switching on your silverware. And <laughs> you're like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, stop with the extra shit. And then they'll start, like I said, they'll start cutting you off. Motherfuckers start getting up cleaning and shit. Like, like you know what I'm saying? A lot of times people who do meth, they like to clean. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Virgo's obviously obsessed with cleaning, like cleanliness. And, like, mind you, over cleaning, like, overdoing it with the cleaning. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, meth addicts, this is literally what they do. Like, they over clean. Like, some, mind you, see somebody smoke weed too sometimes with, like, um, certain opiates. They make people get up and start cleaning them up from the crib like crazy. Straight Virgo energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, um, also, too, uh, you think of a. Uh, um, like, when I talk about the Virgo verse, a lot of times how things don't necessarily match. You, you know what I'm saying? Where, um, like, the, the paperwork don't match. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the job or, you know, the gig or the whatever the mission is, a lot of times it's not going to match out toward what was told up front. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, you think of meth addicts, the same thing. Like, kind of like crackhead. Like, you know, they kind of tell you one thing and it, and, it, and it ain't what it is. Like, oh, I just got to run over. It's like, well, not necessarily lying, but, like, it be, like, what do call it? Like, white lies. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't what you think it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, the way that a lot of times Mercury, they kind of play on that, that, um, the fence. Like, everything is, like, kind of on the fence when it's being explained. Like, you know what I'm saying? With them, so it'd be, like, half-truths. A lot of half-truths and shit. With meth addicts, same thing with Virgos. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be, like, half-truths. You know, um, Libra, we went with, uh, ecstasy, Molly. Also, porn. You know what I'm saying? Addiction. So then also, like, sex addiction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Libra's um, air sign, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I always say it all the time, air signs is like whores, prostitutes, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, Libra men are really, um, they say they got a wandering eye, you know what I'm saying? They like to look at beautiful things, especially beautiful women, you know what I'm saying? So, um, they can spend hours watching porn, they can spend hours on Instagram, they can spend hours like, you know what I'm saying, in that state of lust, that ecstasy or like uh, Molly kind of puts you in. Like people take Molly, they take uh, ecstasy, they start sweating and shit. They start wanting to touch it on people, rubbing on people and shit. They start looking at the way people body moving and shit like this. Like side is a concept of symmetry, like you're saying, and the way that it moves. You know what I'm saying? So like um, uh, when you take uh, ecstasy, Molly, stuff like this, like so you can be susceptible to the way people move into music and shit like that. Like the way people's bodies move and dance into music. So I'm saying, and like this is some straight Libra shit in a way that like, what the eye see and how it desires, not necessarily a scorpion desire, but the way that you look, like the way that the eye desires things and the way that you kind of balance, the way you look at things and balance it out, you know what I'm saying, and ask yourself whether or not you desire that thing or not, you know what I'm saying, this is Libra shit, so I'm saying, ecstasy push this shit all the way over, push you all the way over into that energy, you know what I'm saying, where it's like, you want to fuck everything, you want to like touch everything, you want to uh, drink hella fucking water, you want to eat, you want to experience, like, you know what I'm saying, all of these things, and um, Libra's, to uh, um, you know, you think about um, photography, never say photography, but like um, beauty, you know what I'm saying? Like, and a capturing beauty, like with like certain aspects of photography, stuff like this, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, people who take a, a ecstasy and shit like this, like, they want to capture 
that feeling, like in in the heat of the moment. So a lot of times, like you know, what I'm saying, how do I explain? It? Like you think like OnlyFans or like fucking porn, like people like how you say like amateur porn, like people filming themselves having sex and shit like that. So I'm saying a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that type, same type of energy, like, pop it, ecstasy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, well, let's let's just get fucked up and make a porno type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and sit around and watch that shit. You know, this this is that energy. Not actually doing it, but the energy that's there. Like, you, you kind of want to do some lustful shit off ecstasy. You know what I'm saying? Libras kind of be in that state all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, take a look at the Scorpio, we went with heroin. You know what I'm saying? Heroin is, like, a horrible drug. You know what I'm saying? And like it's a it's a drug that literally consumes your whole fucking soul and will literally and, and it doesn't stop until it kills you. A lot of times Scorpios be the same way with their spouse. And they're like they literally have to take over your whole soul, mind, soul, body, everything, you know what I'm saying, and, and have you totally addicted to them in a way that a lot of times people are addicted to heroin. And you know what I'm saying? And if and if you're not like that, a Scorpio can find themselves being vindictive, being evil, being fucked up and a lot a lot of times this is what heroin do. You know it bring out like they say the dark soul, the dark night of the soul. You know what I'm saying? Heroin will literally bring out the dark night of the soul in people. And Scorpios can can do the same shit, especially when it comes to love, love situations and um, you know, uh, domestic domestic situations. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, that situation like that can bring the worst out of Scorpio, just like the way same heroin can bring out the worst in people and have you uh, treating people that you love in the worst possible ways. And you got to start setting up boundaries and all that type of shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Because like you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you ever um being around a heroin addict or like, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's like they literally can't help themselves. Like, you know what I'm saying? They gotta go through a whole rehab process to like to get out of that type of situation. Scorpio, same exact shit. It's like obsessive, compulsive, you know what I'm saying, and also destruct like totally destructive in areas of, of a life that you can never really get out of unless you have some type of outside intervention come in and help you with that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And also too it's a slow grind. Like Scorpio is Ruled by Pluto, so it's a slow grind. Like you know, what I'm saying? it slowly starts to take over your whole life. Like you know, what I'm saying, and it's also like you say, the decision to make, uh, the decision to take heroin is a obviously bad decision, poor decision. And uh, Scorpios a lot of times can do, the, can be in that same way, where it's like it comes time for them to make the right decision, but the emotions kick in, and they will literally make the wrong decision. Like you know, what I'm saying, so um, you know, the way that heroin is incorporated with bad decision, I'll buy all these drugs. You know, what I'm saying, um bad decision, but obviously, like, heroin is, like, a whore, it's, like, the worst shit you could ever, you know, one of the worst drugs you could ever do, and it's, like, it's a horrible decision, and, you know, it's a lot of times you give Scorpios an opportunity to make the right decision in the heat of a of a, of a moment like that, and like, they'll make the fucking wrong decision, you know what I'm saying, so, that's, uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius, we want hard looking, you know, whereas, whereas, um, Leo is beer and wine, Sagittarius is hard looking, you know what I'm saying, you're talking that, the Henny, you know what I'm saying, the Remy, the, the Grey Goose, the Vodka, the tequila, the Patron, like that hard, hard liquor that they, they cause liver damage and shit like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? They cause kidney failure. Them type of, you know, you got to go, look at all this shit, dialysis. That, them, like, drinking till your fucking liver fall out your back onto the float type shit. You know, that's the hard liquor, you know, and the um, reason, reason and, and being addicted to it, you know what I'm saying? To the point motherfucking hair start falling out. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That liquor. It's literally like gasoline in a motherfucking car to a Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? Like, like them motherfuckers drink a bottle of wine like it's a fucking, like it's a bottle of water. You know what I'm saying? You pull out a fifth, same shit. Like, the motherfuckers drink a whole fifth in, like, maybe an hour or two. You know? Um, I don't know if you've dealt with a drunk. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it could be uh, fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hanging out with a drunk a lot of times. Even though it's annoying as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, a drunk is kind of puts you in a state of... You can't accept the fact that you're like, okay, well, the motherfucker's drunk. Like, so, so, so this motherfucker do some stupid shit. Motherfucker was drunk. You can't really fully hold them accountable to the shit that they're doing because they're drunk. But at the same time, they are, um, it's, it might be, you know, being drunk is a great way to, you know, is a way to excuse yourself. And, oh, man, I fucked that guy. Oh, my God. I must have been drunk. I was drunk. So it wasn't my fault. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, well, who drank all the liquor? Motherfucker, you obviously drank all the liquor. So, you know, but... You know, the liquor is a good, like, like what's that song Jamie Foxx sag? Say, blame it on the alcohol. Perfect example. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sags, you know, are um, the type of people who like to live life to the fullest. But, you know, if they do something stupid, you know what I'm saying? They would like some type of escape clause to say, well, this wasn't on me, it was on this. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of times the liquor be there 
to do just that, you know what I'm saying? And also too, you know, Sagittarius is a mutable sign, mutable fire. So like, whereas like when you go to a bar, a lot of times I use Leo's as the actual bartender. I use Sagittarius as the actual liquor that's sitting behind him. And they're like, it's so many different types of liquor, you know what I'm saying? And like, just like Sagittarius is mutable fire, it's just so many different types of, I don't say fire like that, but like, you know, it's just like so many types of lives that Sagittarius kind of attracted to, like different, different, it's different types of liquor. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh man, I love tequila, but I also love, you know, Hennessy, but I, but I also love Grey Goose. Like, you know what I'm saying? These are total opposite energies, but you still love all of them. A lot of times, Sagittarius is be like that with women, you know what I'm saying, or men, you know what I'm saying? And they like, they love life like that. And they like, you know, I can't really say which I love better, the tequila or the fucking brandy, but because I love them both and they make me feel so differently, but I love them both. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times, Sagittarius be like that. And they're like, they kind of treat, the people around them, or especially they lovers, like different drinks. Like, you're okay, I'm having this drink today. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I um, uh, hope you get that. Capricorn room or steroids. So, I'm saying steroids, yes, steroids. You know what I'm saying? A lot of wrestlers and shit like that who, you know what I'm saying, be using steroids. Uh, Capricorn be on that same line. They're like, Capricorn is uh, ruled by the devil. And when you say ruled by the devil, it's kind of like in a situation of what you do, your form. So, like, you can see Capricorn. Um, Capricorn a lot of times doing workout, you know I'm saying trying to do workout videos, something like this, or like uh, exercise. Why you think about at the beginning of the year when people make they do this resolution, they be thinking about working out and stuff like this. Like, you know, I'm gonna start working, getting healthy. It's all doing Capricorn season at the beginning of the year. So, um, um, steroids is kind of, um, you know, on the same when you it, they they fucking go hand in hand, like you know what I'm saying. So, uh, think about uh, sports, people play sports. Uh, they get caught with like not necessarily steroids, but perf they call it performing, performing, performing enhancement drugs. I forget. I, I think I'm saying it right. Performance enhancement drugs. You know what I'm saying? Capricorn is uh, uh, cardinal earth, so they already on a uh, mission to try to like build an empire for sake. You know what I'm saying? So whatever type of steroids that they could take to help to build that to make it even more strong like the concept of capricorn building a solid foundation but then taking steroids and even making it more strong like you know what i'm saying capricorn is always in a steroid mind frame anyway they literally are steroid like you put them around a group of people they're gonna walk in the door like steroids like you're gonna say okay we need to do this we need to, like oh some bullshit okay no you slacking here and you need to step this up and you need to improve on this and you need to improve on it's like literally like an injection of steroid you know what i'm saying a lot of times it don't really go right you know what I'm saying because they be overly steroidal if that's a, 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 a real word but like you know when you get a little weakness in your neck or weakness in your arm or like you know saying somebody break break a bone you know saying somebody come along with the steroid and inject it and kind of make it stronger you know what I'm saying but Capricorn is literally addicted somebody addicted to steroids so like you know a lot of times wrestlers use so much steroids that they they pee pee shrink all the way up you know what I'm saying so um Capricorn be the same way and they're like it's so much steroids that you know what I'm saying they shrink Per se, like, like you think about screws, like you know, what I'm saying the absolute screws, and like so much of that Capricorn energy is trying to stack, and like he's like wow, I'm up to the point where like his 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 um his soul, for lack of a better word, started to shrink. Capricorn's got like a, a Benjamin Button uh type complex going on. It's like the older they get, the more younger they get in certain other areas. You know what I'm saying? So um that steroids is kind of like that, like you know what I'm saying, where it kind of keep even though you get old. Still want to look young, keep your body young, keep your body in shape, keep healthy, like some Capricorn type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hope that makes sense. Aquarius, obviously, I'm sitting there smoking a blunt, so we obviously want weed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that most people, most people in America who do drugs typically do weed, and then like it's like the the drug of the social, the socialite drug. You know what I'm saying? It's like like they say it's the gateway drug. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, and also too, like I don't know if you heard of Spice. They used to have this stuff called K2 back in the day. It was called Spice. Some people used to call it Tunchi. It's like, like, basically like potpourri that people was rolling up and smoking that shit. I knew a hell of people that got addicted to that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, um, there's some other shit. And a lot of times, Aquarius, like, think outside the box and, like, try some whole other shit that ain't even on this list. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, um, even though weed is a good way to explain, like, from a, like, on a social collector, everybody get it. Hey, man, let's get up, let's, let's hang out, man. Like, fucking stoner type shit. Like, Aquarius, like, who's up? You know, like, with some hippie type shit. You know, a lot of times, Aquarius come off like hippies. You know what I'm saying? But then you got, like I say, like the K2 and the Spice shit was like some other shit. Like a lot of times the Chris go try experimental, do some shit that's like totally like try a drug that ain't, that ain't nobody even try for. Like I ain't even heard that fucking. Let me try it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's some other shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, what they call it? Chris a lot of times unique. Do you think outside of the box? You know what I'm saying? Um, 
K2 kind of same thing. Like, you know, what the fuck is that? Some new drugs, some shit. You know, you're like, what the fuck? You know, and also, too, when um, you think about uh, weed uniting different opposite and kind of like I look, man, all drugs can do this. You know what I'm saying? But weed typically is known as the drug that kind of brings everybody together. Like even the presidents, like you think about Bill Clinton, they were talking about smoking weed and shit like this, Obama smoking weed. So I'm saying, so like, um, it's like, it's like the, the drug that's kind of, you kind of accept that everybody, it's like the one drug that's like, okay, well, motherfuckers smoke a little weed, it ain't a big deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Aquarius is kind of uh, on the fringe of like, I want to say friendships kind of like that, but it's like, it's kind of like, that one friend that you got, you're like, oh yeah, I tried that one time. It was, it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was what it was. You know, I used to smoke weed back in the day. Like, I used to hang out with Aquarius back in the day. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker's kind of crazy. It was like that, that little wild, little phase that you went through. You know what I'm saying? And got kind of, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of times Aquarius be the motherfucker would introduce you to weed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, I tried that back in the day. Yeah, I tried it, didn't like it, kept moving. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pisces. Uh, we weren't Quaaludes, you know what I'm saying, or like even shrooms. Quaaludes is the shit that Bill Cosby was slipping in people's drinks, you know what I'm saying, and also too, like you ever seen Wolf of Wall Street, you know, they were taking Quaaludes. You ever seen somebody take Quaaludes, you literally can't even function. These motherfuckers like, Ugh, or like morphine, like morphine, you take that shit and literally go to sleep, like, you know what I'm saying. Or like, but if you take Quaaludes and stay awake, you get a high, like you know what I'm saying, but it's like, it's like a, a, a damn near like, like you damn near paralyzed type, you know what I'm saying, type shit, and like Pisces is ruled by, uh, uh, Neptune, you're saying it's a fantasy world. You know what I'm saying? A lot of your best fantasies come when you actually sleep. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, like being literally on that air, like like a lot of times people even take heroin, like they'll not kinda nod off and be in that in that world between sleep and awake. Then Quaaludes put you right there. 